The member representing Abaka team, Ekoika Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives, Honorable Anyekan Umana, has charged the federal government to introduce online education program into the curriculum of schools in Nigeria following the suspension of classroom educational activities due to COVID-19 pandemic. In a motion of urgent public importance moved during plenary yesterday, seconded by Representative Abdurazak Nandes and adopted by the House, Umana stated that the effect of COVID-19 on the educational sector and the world cannot be overemphasized and Nigeria needs to also adapt to ensure the school children are kept updated. COVID-19 has induced school closures and has kept over 1.2 billion children out of classrooms as a result. Education has changed dramatically with the distinctive increase in the use of e-learning and online educational systems, whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. This sudden event has caused a shift from the classrooms in our nation schools and global schools. Teachers and students have been forced to adjust and adapt to the unplanned and rapid move to online teaching and learning. With no structure, particularly in our country, training and equipment, and we are faced with inadequate preparations. The e-learning approach takes time and is a gradual system of learning, particularly in the developing world. Schools and colleges have to develop a modular structure, data-based learning pattern, supported with efficient communication and internet backbone to ensure this works. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware that the federal government through the federal Ministry of Education announced recently a free e-learning portal intended to create access to online education across the nation as well as radio and television classrooms. But Mr. Speaker, this has remained intentions as reports indicate that this is not working and that it is not signing the desired need of closing the educational gaps due to the lack of instructional design and implementation mechanics and lack of cognitive psychological tools that will support e-learning 